Hi, I'm Cynthia from Arby's Cafe, and Sherry is with me today. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Sherry. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? Good, good. good. Thank you for joining me again oh, today. Oh, my pleasure. Great. And today we're talking about ribbons. Beautiful ribbons. Beautiful ribbons. Yes, we do have a lot of beautiful ribbons, and ribbons are coming back. They are. You know, we kind of see a slowdown, and then suddenly we see coming back like, you know. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> and, and I think chokers. Uh, the popularity right. of chokers right now is bringing the ribbon back or helping. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yes. And here, here is a beautiful display of some of the ribbons that we have. So we have them coming in velvet and satin and then it uh, hand dye uh, yeah. silk, yeah. which is beautiful. And they come on different sizes, different uh, width. Is mm -hmm. that how you yeah. say? Mm -hmm. Okay. I never know the, yeah. <laughs> the term. And um, so check our website. We do have a lot of uh, colors and they're really beautiful. And so we brought some ideas to show you what we made with those. Did you have fun working with? I did. I had a lot of fun, especially if I have to pick a favorite. Uh -huh. <laughs> or can I? Yeah. Okay, go for it. I love the velvet. You do? I do. I love the velvet ribbon. It's been very fun. Okay. Yeah. I, I found the, I was intimidated by the velvet. But for you, it was... Okay. Yeah, you won't be. Okay. You won't be. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to start showing your velvet sure, then? Sure, sure. Um, so the, uh, we have these gorgeous colors, and um, I chose this thin uh, width mm -hmm. and just simply stitched some gorgeous, uh, the new scarlet, Swarovski scarlet by Cones in um, just a little detail right in the center. Right. And then just dangled a little um, drop from it and uh, then finished it off with the super simple um, end pieces and, and right. we'll show you um, how easy those are, right? To, um, and they fit the different widths of ribbon that we mm -hmm. carry. So such a, a simple way to finish off um, a choker and then with links of um, chain or jump right. rings, um, you can get a good fit. So mm -hmm. easy to do. Um, so that was really fun. And then um, I went um, with this yummy, um, oh, it's kind of a coppery brown. Right. I just love this color. Beautiful. <laughs> and I love uh, the rose, um, uh, the rose crystals. Gold? Yeah, right. the rose gold crystals. So I stitched... Um, along the edge mm -hmm. of the ribbon, uh, stayed within the selvage of the ribbon, okay. and um, although it was a little time consuming, it went pretty um, pretty easily, Okay. and then uh, did a little scalloping with the crystals. So this looks a little complicated, but it's not. It was just really simple, Fine. straightforward stitching. That is um, beautiful. So, and I think the effect is so pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. So that's, this is a choker. This is a choker. But it can yeah. easily be a bracelet, it too. It could be. It'd be, it'd be beautiful. It'd be a beautiful yes. bracelet, wouldn't it? Look at that. And you yeah. could sew also on the other mm -hmm. side, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. really beautiful. So that was a lot it. of fun. And then um, there's something about this color yes. <laughs> that I think is so beautiful. Um, it's kind of a light mint. It is. Light. It is. Beautiful. It's so soft. And uh, this was a piece of filigree that I had experimented with um, when we did some of the vintage right. um, patinas and hadn't used it for anything. And when I put it with this ribbon, I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. Um, so that's just stitched on. It's just tapped here and there. Okay. Um, I put just a little bit of a curve to the piece oh, so I that see. it fits your neck a little bit. Right. And then the gorgeous new um, uh, shimmer drop. That's beautiful. The Swarovski drop, I think, is so pretty. That goes really so well that together. that was fun. And again, both of these pieces are finished with the really simple right. um, ribbon ends. Right, and those ribbons end, I like that. So it's, it's a little piece, very easy, and the only thing you have to do is just do you fold your ribbon first, or you just it put it in? It kind of depends on the ribbon. Okay. Um, and I have to say, the velvet ribbon will fray, and, okay. um, and the satin can fray too. So right. if you can put a little bit of adhesive along the edge, like a fray check or, or mm -hmm. something to secure that, um, you don't necessarily have to glue it into the setting, but okay. just secure it from fraying. And then, um, and then yeah, yeah, just, just fit that. it over the edge. Yes. And then crimp. And it's and, pretty easy yeah. to just crimp it. it it's really easy. Those little uh, findings have some little teeth there, so you really hold um, 
the the finding on the ribbon very well. It does. It grips really it grips into it, especially the velvet and, and right. the silk. That's true. Um, the satin you could fold the edge over a little bit mm -hmm. to give it a little more to bite onto if you wanted to. Um, uh, you can even stitch it a little bit, which mm -hmm. is uh, what I did on the velvets. I put a little stitching in there just to secure that okay. those edges from uh, raveling. Okay. And here you did some satin brasset, but no finish. Just nothing. Yes, yeah, it's super simple. Um, cut the the ribbon, folded it in half, and then just looped it through. There's loops on each side of this link binding, Bye. so just fed it through the loops and then uh, tied an overhand knot over it to um, hide the loop mm -hmm. and then just finish the ends off with a little knot so that it doesn't fray and then these can um, just tie around your wrist you can either uh, do it simple mm -hmm. um, with a knot or a bow if you want right. and, and leave a little bit of uh, the ribbon hanging which I think is beautiful That's um, really especially cute. for a wedding type That's true. Um, yes. yeah and so super fast. You can do, you know, a bunch of these in just a few minutes. Um, That's you could do, true. You know, whole set for bridesmaids. Yes. Or, um, yeah. It goes really Pretty fast. Sense. And the colors are so pretty. Mm -hmm. We have um, really pretty colors in these bezel gems. So, yeah. yeah fun. Those I also really did um, the pendant. So this has the single loop, um, pendant loop, and then again, just the overhand knot. Mm -hmm. And then it's um, the ends are knotted so they don't fray, okay. and then you can Just make that length adjustable right. by leaving the the ribbon long. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. And for me, with the satin ribbon, I made this one here. Oh, I'm gonna move this a little and come back to that. I made this one, and I just wanted to do something simple uh, with a chain. Um, I fell in love with that key. Oh, I it's know. It's a beautiful it's so key. So pretty. Um, love it. <laughs> And uh, then I just accessorize the, uh, the chain. And actually, uh, on the ribbon here, uh, I was able to put uh, two bead caps together. It's oh, not a bead, it's two bead caps. And I thought it looked very big. Really um, pretty. And, and I actually, love the way you did that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, really fun. And actually, Becky, that you see on, on Facebook Live, when she saw that piece, she's like, oh, it looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> <It's> like, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. that piece. I think that was, that was really fun uh, to work with. Another ribbon that I love working with, let me move that and come to this one here, is the uh, silk, mm -hmm. the uh, dyed, hand dyed silk. Um, they come from different colors. Some of them has a, a one color only. Some of them have different colors. And I, I thought that was such an easy way to use them with the tubes. Oh, I love that. I Isn't love that. The, the ribbon is so beautiful and the tubes are so beautiful. And it's just such a clean, colorful if you want. Um, or it exactly. could be sifted. It's beautiful. Yes. I was actually, uh, when I did that, I was on FaceTime with my sister and oh. uh, back home and she was so excited to see to see this so i know what i'm bringing her <laughs> when i go Yay. visit her <laughs> oh. this is such an easy easy project to do and then um with the silk here on this one that i did i took three ribbon actually and i was able to glue them in the uh, end cap and i finished them just by uh just put a bead at the end oh perfect and, and that was it so i cut if, um, each ribbon, I cut them in half, okay. glued them in the end cap, and then just put so, them together. Okay, so you have the finished ends at the yes. end, which is really nice, nice finish. Yes. And then the bead. Oh, I love yes. that. And the colors are so pretty together. It's so they? pretty. I really love that. And um, you can do those ribbons with anything. Like here, I did with some uh, gemstone. Beautiful gemstone. Mm -hmm. I thought the blue in this gemstone goes really well with that gorgeous. blue ribbon. Love that blue ribbon. And on this one, I use those little end cap also that you squeeze. Very easy to okay. work with. And at the end, I wanted to do something a little more special. So, you know, I like I, I uh, fold the ribbon, cup, cut this way, okay. and kind of make a little Cute. V shape. Add something, you know, yeah. at the end, like some, some spaces. And uh, uh, I love that. And how simple, just a knot. Yes. Three spacers or, or so in between and a knot on the other side, but it adds so much. Exactly. It just really um, exactly. pulls it all together. Yes, because yeah, I always nice think, finish. yeah, sometimes, you know, if you have short hair, well, that's going to be at the end right. in your back. So if you add something on it, 
kind of give a, a little uh, accessorize, it does. something cute. Yeah, yeah, I think it's beautiful. Thank you. And on that here, I use again a ribbon, and I decided to make small pieces out of it, and uh, cut them mm. uh, in different pieces. So this is just mm -hmm. one ribbon, Diamond. but okay. cutting them. Okay. And I oh, used, okay. uh, if you see under the link. To, uh, to crimp, I use a tiraka speed that you can crimp easily, okay. and then that hold the ribbons together. So that's flattened. There. Yes. Oh, perfect. Love that piece. Aren't those beautiful? They those are. Beautiful They components. are, and I think with the flowers, it works really no, well. I know. No, I love those checked flowers. I do too. And then this next one that I did with the heart pendant, that was inspired uh, from um, Tracy, the designer from Tiracas. She did a piece like that with some random chain and some uh, pieces of ribbon. Oh, and I loved it so much. So thank you, Tracy, Yay. for the idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's so playful and it colorful is. and just it fun is. And yes. musical. So you yeah. can use any type of ribbon. Here I use the silk ribbon. You can use the satin. You can use leftover ribbon that you maybe bought in mm. a craft store. And just hang like that uh, with some beads or some charm. And uh, I thought that was really yeah. fun. Beautiful. And I was thinking maybe I should iron a little the ribbon. And then it's like, oh. No, maybe just right. leave it like that. So if you Organic. want something, yeah, <laughs> if you want something that looks neat, you can iron or you can leave it this way. Right. So either way, yes. So um, the ribbon, when you iron them, uh, do with a very light uh, heat, mm -hmm. or you can put a towel on top towel of it. Yeah. Or uh, someone told me also with a flat iron for oh, your hair oh, you just okay. pull the ribbon in it so make sure it's not too hot yeah. but you can do that or it doesn't have hair products on it yeah <laughs> sometimes your flat irons will get you know like your that's true resistant stuff. yeah so once, want it to be clean but right. yeah that'd be that's great true. and handy yes right? super easy yes <laughs> great idea yeah so thank you i don't remember who told me but yeah. <laughs> thank you and then you made some really cute yeah, um, pieces I there too i love this this is the wide um um, silk ribbon, right. which I think is just gorgeous. And all I did was slide on the um, the bead uh, that has the loop on the end and then added the mm -hmm. dangles to it. So how easy is that? Yes. Super easy. Really and the cool. width of the ribbon shows, you know, it just it's a showy piece, I think, but so simple. And then right. this one, I used the ribbon, um, I just folded it over uh, jump rings and mm -hmm. then I uh, did a messy wire wrap to secure ah, them, and that's a great way to attach also. It's a great idea, too. I, yeah. I love the uh, the finish that it gave. It, yeah, you know, I do, it's too. It's wire with a, a silk ribbon. I think yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. That's a really great idea. So that's there fun. are a lot of ways to finish uh, ribbon, there are actually. lots. Yes, and you mm -hmm. just have to experiment and, and play with it like, like we did. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we love ribbon. It, oh, I think. for sure. <laughs> find your favorite findings you know and and the findings come in so many different colors and and types exactly. so yeah yeah so well thank you sherry for You're coming welcome. today and showing us uh, your beautiful bracelet you convinced thank me you. with yeah, <laughs> with it. the velvet <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us today at arby's cafe and please make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter so you can be the first one to see our promotion our great ideas and see Sherry again. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye bye.